everyone and welcome. Today is going to be another skincare video. It's kind of going to be an update as well. Uh, I'm going to show you guys my current nighttime skincare routine and we're going to talk about my tretinoin update. Now I started tretinoin back in, back in May, I think. So if you're not familiar with tretinoin, it is like supposed to be the best retinol, retinoid, whatever, the best thing out there for anti-aging. Uh, it's actually an acne medication and you can only get it through prescription, but it's supposed to be really, really good for anti-aging. So I was at the dermatologist back in January. I had to have a spot removed from my leg. It wasn't cancer or anything, but could have been. Anyways, I was asking them about tretinoin and I was kind of annoyed because she kind of brushed me off and she's like, why don't you just try a Dapoline? You can buy that at the store. And I was like, okay, cool. Because she's like, you know, tretinoin's not covered by insurance. And I'm like, that's fine. Like I pay for my skincare. Like I want to pay for this. So I ended up buying, let me show you. So I ended up buying this Adapalene gel. This is a uh, dermatology inspired. No, what is it? AF. I don't even know what this brand is. I got it at Walmart. It's a 0.1% and it says it's an acne treatment. So, but this is essentially supposed to do the same thing that the tretinoin does, but this is an over-the-counter. You can get this at the store. I've tried this for about four months and I really didn't notice much of a change. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it was fine, but I didn't really notice anything. So then I was, you know, scrolling the YouTube, looking at uh, skincare videos, and I found a couple, I can't remember whose link I ended up using, but I've seen this brand for a while. Uh, the agency and it's how it's a like an online uh, dermatologist basically where you can get tretinoin so I ended up ordering that I had to like send in my pictures and um, they prescribed me it was like a 0 0.015 of tretinoin and I was like okay well I gotta start somewhere right so I used that for like a good two months two three months and I saw no change. I ended up needing to reorder. And so I sent a message to the dermatologist on there and told her that I, you know, I had, I've been using it for two months now. I haven't noticed any changes. I want to up my prescription because I need to order it. I was going on vacation. So I wanted to get it ordered. And they responded with, uh, your dermatologist will check in with you nine days before your order is supposed to ship. And I'm like, well, how's that going to help me? I want to order right now because I want to take this I want to take it with me on vacation. So yeah, I never got to up my prescription. So I ended up ordering it and it was the same prescription. And so I used all that, but I literally saw no change. Well, fast forward back in July, July, I can't remember when they launched, but if you guys watch these awesome doctors, Dr. Lee, I believe is their channel name. They are awesome. They're so informative. Well, they came out with a brand where they you can get tretinoin through them and they're not as strict as the other company. So I ended up sending in my uh, pictures to them and all of my information and I got the 0.1% tretinoin through them. And the crazy thing is, so this is what I got from them. This is called Script. I think it's called Script Derm or something like that. That's the name of their con country. That's the name of their company. This shipped from a pharmacy literally two minutes from my house. So they work with different uh, pharmacies throughout the United States, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's just the US, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I got this in like three days. So I've been using this now for a month and a half. So this is kind of what I'm gonna base it off of. Like I did use the other stuff for a while, but I don't feel like I saw a change. But I do feel like I'm seeing, I'm definitely seeing a change in my skin with this one. So like I said, this is the 0.1%. This is like the strongest version you can get. Uh, I don't want to show you guys my prescription because it's got my information on it, but this is a 0.1% of tretinoin and a 2% of the niacinamide. So I believe the reason they put the two together is to kind of make the tretinoin not as irritating, we could say. Yeah, because it can become very irritating. So I'm just going to kind of tell you guys about my journey and then I'm going to show you my skincare routine. And then at the end, we'll look at some before and afters. I'm not expecting like a huge change because it's only been, you know, it hasn't been that long with the 0.1%. So I'm not expecting huge changes in my before and afters, but we'll take a look at them together. So stay tuned to the end if you want to see the before and afters. So, okay. 
starting with my journey with this. I wanted to kind of, eventually they want you to, so it says apply a pea-sized amount to your face nightly if, or as tolerated. So ideally that's the goal is to be able to use this every single night. So I feel like my skin's pretty, you know, I'm, I, I'm not very sensitive. So I started off going right in and I tried to use it every single night. Uh, the first week was okay. And then it started to get a little irritated, nothing crazy at all. Uh, I would feel a little bit red or a little bit hot. My face would get a little bit red um, with the heat out here because it's so hot out here in Arizona. Um, so my face, I did notice it would get a little bit warm. Like if I was outside, I tried to avoid the sun because you don't want to be in the sun if you're using a retinol, definitely with this. Uh, so I tried to avoid that, definitely wore my sunscreen. And I did notice sometimes when I would put on my sunscreen in the morning, it would kind of burn a little bit. So when that would happen, I would end up taking a break. I took a couple days off and then I would ease back into it and do it like once every three nights and then more as tolerated. I would say by like week three is when I really started to notice the peeling. So it probably started on my chin first. That's why it just started to like flake. And if I tried to put on makeup, oh yeah, no, you did not want to see that. It was like really flaky. And then I would say last week, it really started to peel up here. So I feel like it's definitely doing its job. It's supposed to help you like cell turnover. So it's supposed to kind of help you just get new skin. And that's, I guess that's how the anti-aging aspect works with it. Uh, but it does, it's supposed to help with texture and it just is supposed to be like kind of an all over, you know, kind of does everything. So, so yeah, I would say my skin right now, I have been using, I don't know if I talk about this, this one in my current skincare, but this is one of my other favorites. This is from Rodan and Fields. It's the active hydration serum, the hyaluronic acid serum. And this is like my go-to if my skin is ever feeling irritated or dry, I this stuff. So I actually put on my makeup today. This is a lot of information I just keep throwing at you guys. I will have all the products linked down below if you guys want or have questions about it or want to check it out, let me know. Um, so this is another product from Rodan and Fields. This is a Radiant Defense, and this is actually a, like a tinted moisturizer essentially, and it has an SPF of 30. So what I did was I mixed a little bit of this with my active hydration, and then that's how I did my makeup today. And my makeup feels so like hydrated and dewy. It just feels really good. So this stuff is amazing. Like if you just need something extra in, in your skincare routine, just to put get, get back some moisture, uh, some hydration, I highly recommend this one. Well, that's what I've started doing lately with my peeling skin. Uh, it hasn't been bad. It would just be down here and a little bit up here. And all I would do is like wash my face and just kind of rub it and then put on some lotion. Overall, my journey with tretinoin has been not so bad. I'm, I don't, I wouldn't say I'm up to every single night. Uh, what I kind of like to do is do most nights with that. And then I'll throw in a peel on one night just to kind of, you know, get rid of some of those dead skin cells. But I'm loving it so far. I can't wait to see how my results are gonna be after like years of use. Uh, I know a lot of people that have used it for years and years and years and their skin looks amazing. So I'm very curious to see that. So, all right, let's get into my current nighttime skincare routine. Uh, I'll talk about what I'm using. I will put everything down in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. And then at the end, we'll kind of go through my before and afters. Hopefully you can see a difference. Fingers crossed. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do tonight is use this e.l.f. Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. This particular one has hyaluronic acid, ceramides, and peptides. It's super hydrating, and I just feel like this does a really good job of taking off my makeup. So I just kind of rub a little bit into my hand, and it kind of it just turns into an oil, basically. And this gets my mascara and eye makeup off really well. I don't have a ton of eye makeup on right now, but I'm going to start with my eyes. And you can really use any kind of cleansing oil. Um, a CeraVe has a really good one, uh, but I just really like this one, and it's I think it's under $10. So I will usually just go in with this one first just to kind of get all my makeup melting away. And then I'm gonna take my, uh, just like a wet makeup cloth. You can either just wash your face or you can use a cloth. And I just like to do that and get all of the uh, product off of my face. And this just melts away everything. And then I like to do a double cleanse. This is a vitamin C cleanser that I'm using. You, There are so many options, like I said. 
CeraVe also has a couple like foam foaming cleansing washes as well that work really, really good. So once I get all of that washed off, now I'm going in with my eye masks. I don't do this every single night, but this is just kind of something I like to do if my eyes are feeling puffy or I don't know dark circles if I'm just feeling tired. So these are 24 karat masks from Amazon actually. It comes with a pack of 25. And so what I'll usually do is put those on and then I will hop in the bathtub with a nice book or watch some YouTube videos and I will just relax for 20 minutes with those on. And then after 20 minutes, I will remove those and my eyes just feel super refreshed. Um, I think you could tell a difference. And then I like to go in with my pharmacy. This is just a toner. You can really use any kind of toner. I like hyaluronic acid toners. I like milk toners. Um, this is just one that I have. It's a 2% BHA pore cleansing toner. And I just had this in my, in my cabinet. So I'm just using this. And then I like to go in with my fan just to make sure everything's completely dry before I go to my next step. So this is kind of the star of the show. This is my tretinoin that we were talking about earlier. And I just go in with about a pea-sized amount. And I like to just do four different sections. I do my right side and then my left side and then my forehead and my chin. I do make sure I go over my nose as well. Um, I do a little bit by my eyes, like where my crow's feet are. I don't like to go above my upper lip. Um, yeah, those are just the areas I like to avoid. Now I'm going in with this Rodan and Fields. This is their Hydra Mask Gel Cream. This stuff is amazing. I actually just got this last week and I'm loving it so far. It is just, it's got peptides, it's got hyaluronic acid, and it just really, really hydrates my skin. So once I get that on, I like to use my little gua sha tool and just kind of, I like to do my chin and my neckline. I just feel like this kind of helps define I don't know, sometimes I feel like I have a double chin going on, so I like to use this. And then I also sometimes like to follow it up with my Vanna cream. Uh, it's just a moisturizing cream that I like to put on last, but I didn't do it in this video. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is do my lash boost. This is from Rodan and Fields as well. This is just going to help my lashes grow. It just makes them look fuller, thicker, all that jazz. And now I am ready for bed. I feel like my face is super hydrated and we're ready to go to bed. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful and we will see you all on the next video. Bye. All right, so here are some before and afters. They're not the greatest. I tried to get like the same angles and everything, but I don't feel like they're the best. Um, overall, I do feel like my skin is, I don't know. I can tell that some of the fine lines are like not as deep. Uh, like I said, it's only been a little over a month, like a month and a half. So, I mean, I'm not expecting a huge difference, but I don't know. I think this is a good start and I'm anxious to see how my before and afters are going to look after like a year's worth of use. So let me know if you guys notice any changes and I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. So yeah, thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.